on the second video on learning education. Good evening, Munir Ajam, one more time. Uh, we're going to focus on uh, a bit about our company, Sukad, but not really, I'm not trying to market Sukad here. We're trying to talk about the difference, again, between teaching and training and learning. Um, and I'm not going to compare myself or compare my people to any other organization, so uh, I'm not here to compete with anyone. We just talk about Sukad and Munir or Luke or any other instructors that Sukad work with. Obviously, Luke and Munir are the two guys who do uh, most of the training, and each of us have extensive experience in the field of project management from real project. Uh, so we're not theoretical. We are actually practitioners who have the opportunity to work on projects, small and large, all over the world. And what we typically often talk to clients, of, of course, assuming we have the opportunity, because some clients really do not, they just... Uh, you know, project management or the project people or whatever passed the request to training and development or HR and said, you go get us a course somewhere. And obviously, if you have a provider, that's fine. But we don't often have enough chance to discuss to clients. Some of the mature client and more organization are starting to open the door to have an intelligent discussion uh, and at least listening uh, to us uh, as expert in the area of project management. So in, in this discussion and we've had this morning with the client, Luke and I were there, and that's leading to this series of videos, this two or three videos, uh, the concept of learning and training has come up. Uh, I want to talk, and today we're going to focus more on, in this specific video, we're going to focus more on three type of courses that uh, Luke or myself could be teaching or could be facilitating learning. That's the key word, yeah? Uh, however, in one case, we are actually teaching, so, uh, uh, and I'll explain. I'm going to talk about three different types of courses, and let's assume for, you know, I'm not going to debate and discuss all the different courses we offer, but let's talk about three specific types of courses, and let's assume each one of them is five days, 35 hours, since 35 hours seems to be the magic number that is uh, resulted from PMI and PMP certification, which is, of course, the most common type. The first type of courses I'm going to talk about, and they, again, I'm assuming here Munir teaching uh, any of these three courses or Luke teaching any of these three courses. So I'm not comparing Munir to Luke, and we're not comparing Munir and Luke to anyone else. And uh, the first type of courses we teach is, of course, there are certification training, such as, you know, Prince 2 and PMP. PMP being the most popular, where it's still a good percentage of our revenue come from PMP training. So... Assuming I'm teaching a PMP course that is five days, 35 hours. The other course is I, and I'm using the word teaching with a PMP, yeah, because unfortunately many of the people who come take this training do not do have some experience of project management, but do not really know project management well, uh, at least all aspects. They might know pieces, they might know concept, but they don't know uh, project management the way it's uh, basically Ideally, it should be designed. I mean, technically, PMP is designed for people who have experience in project management, and they need a push to get the exam. Unfortunately, in many parts of the world, in our region, is not the case. People actually come to these classes, and we're having, uh, having to teach them or help them learn project management. But in a PMP exam course, uh, our focus is on helping them learn how to pass the exam, because their objective is to pass the exam. So this is one type. Type number two, I'm going to stay with PMI because of the, you know, obviously the most common and the most popular, and I'm going to stay with the Pumba Guide training. So let's say we want to do a course, and Sukad does the five days PMP training is different from the five days fundamental uh, project management training that we offer on using primarily as a source uh, Pumba uh, information, Pumba Guide information. So five day course on PMP exam prep five-day course on learning the fundamental knowledge of project management uh, as it's covered in the Pumba guide, plus some extras from here and there, or a five-day course on methodology. And obviously, in our case, methodology, it means this, the customizable and adaptable methodology for managing project camp that Sukhait have developed in 2007, and we, are, we have currently upgraded it to version three. So if I give a client 
or my participant in a workshop, these courses, yeah, PMP prep, fundamental according to Pumbak, or a methodology course. Now, when I say methodology course, of course, include aspect from the Pumbak and include aspect from uh, Pumbak guide and aspect from maybe IPMA or sustainability. We introduce other topics. But the main focus, I would say maybe 50% of the coverage of the material of the class is more on project life cycles and methodologies and how you take a project from idea to closure, whereas maybe another 30% focus on process uh, and maybe 20% focus on other aspects such as competence and sustainability and best practices and other elements. And all of these topics are in our upcoming book, but they are not necessarily, uh, so it's not limited to Pumbaa Guide. And we can honestly tell our clients, again, whether Munir is teaching the three courses or look, you take a PMP exam prep class with Munir, you get an X benefit. So let's not put a number, let's just put an X benefit. Uh, so the benefit value is X. You take a Pumbak guide related course with Munir, you will get 2X or maybe 2.5X or 3x, yeah? Why? Because the first course, I have to focus on helping you pass an exam, which means I'm gonna have to help you learn formulas like n times n minus one over two is, uh, is that's a communication channel. How often, you know, uh, on your team, in your life, in your career, have actually did use the formula to calculate how many communication channels you have in your organization, yeah? Uh, or other topics that are valuable, but they are not necessarily used everywhere and for everybody. And unfortunately with the exam, it's not just pure based knowledge. Uh, the many of the exam related question, I mean the whole, the whole idea about the PMP, I don't want to spend a lot of time on this discussion, is that basically it's really the silliness of some of the question and the answers where sometimes the right answer is not even given as a choice which mean all four answers are wrong, which is the least wrong, or all four answers are correct, which is the most correct. Or, you know, uh, the question doesn't even give you enough information, so you have to assume things. Well, in real life, if somebody, if my team member give me information that's missing something, I'm going to ask for clarification before I make a choice or a decision. Yeah? Imagine just making you make a decision as a product manager based on a piece of information that a team member give you. Anyway, so we spend in a PMP exam prep, we have to help people navigate the tips and tricks for passing an exam. Whereas in a Pumba guide knowledge, and we can also uh, deviate a little bit from the Pumba guide, we can offer more conceptual project management and how to apply project management. We can spend time doing exercises such as develop a WBS and how many levels should WBS be, would be, or what would be the component of an estimate. Uh, or what's the difference between the float and real float and real life, not from an exam perspective. So if I go back to benefit-wise, PMP give me an X, Pumbaa give me two to three X. Well, what's the methodology course? And I can assure you, my, usually, and I talk to my clients and I talk to friends and I talk to everybody, if you take a methodology-based class, you are going to get, yeah, instead of one X or two X or three X, five and six X. So on a scale of one to 10, you know, maybe PMP will give me a three, uh, a Pumbak will give me a five, maybe a methodology course give me an eight. Am I gonna say go all the way to 10? So with that in mind, where do you go? Now, of course, what I'm sharing with you here is maybe some people said, well, Munir, that's your opinion because he developed the methodology. It doesn't have to be camp. It could be any methodology based course from anywhere, yeah? Uh, it could be your own internal methodology if you have one. So from that perspective, it doesn't matter what methodology you use. It matters is that we need to have that knowledge and information of practical knowledge and organization, how to take a project from idea to closure, how many estimates, how many approval points, who does the WBS, how many WBS, what is a PBS, and all of these other terms and terminologies I can talk maybe for hours on. These things are covered in more uh, practical way. Not only this, usually in these type of courses, we ask the participant to bring in their own project or at least a realistic project and we get them to practice as much as possible in a class environment how to do this. Now, the good news sometime, bad news sometime, is some client basically said, no, PMP, you know, we don't want anything, we want the certification. 
step. Do you understand what it takes? That's fine. I will be happy to. At the end of the day, for me, actually, is more money uh, to give you a PMP class because I actually even have to sell you books and softwares and other things uh, that I probably make some profit on top and just in addition to the classroom training fees that I have to charge you. So for me, uh, for Sukad, you know, it's more beneficial to do PMP training because there's more money. Yeah. Uh, where other one, uh, more uh, time consuming. And not only this, with those courses, we give a lot of extra material, uh, such as some, some of our books and access to our website and a lot of additional information and templates that we give that could benefit our clients. Now, when client, we have opportunities with the client to talk, almost all the time, they're saying methodology. And I will end this video with this. Good evening. Thank you.